Hey there, welcome to another marriage replenishment message from The Color of Marriage. Life is relationships, the rest is just details. This profound quote from Gary Smalley, a renowned Christian author and speaker, sets the stage for our discussion today. Imagine this. You're upset. Your spouse walks into the room. They glance over at you but they don't say anything. You think, they should know why I'm upset, they should know me well enough by now. But do they? Are they a mind reader? No they're not. And that's where the problem begins. Playing the, you should know me and read my mind game never ends well. When you withhold the reason for why you're upset, two damaging things happen. Firstly, your anger intensifies. You expect your spouse to be perceptive, to read your mind. But let's face it, only Jesus, who is God, has that ability. So instead of expecting your spouse to become a mind reader, open up. Share what's going on inside you. The more you reveal, the more perceptive your spouse becomes. This happens over time, not immediately. This openness builds a connection, a bond that fosters understanding. Secondly, the read my mind game can lead to your spouse's frustration. Initially, they might be concerned and eager to understand why you're upset, but over time, they will become exasperated. Not because they don't care, but because you're making it difficult for them to express their love. Unwittingly, you're sabotaging your marriage with this mind game. Consider these passages from the Bible. So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. James 4:17. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Romans 12, 18. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself, it tends only to evil. Psalm 37, 8. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices. Colossians 3, 9. These verses emphasize the importance of honest communication, of living in peace with one another, of refraining from anger and, ultimately, of truthfulness. So instead of expecting your spouse to decipher your thoughts and feelings, try a different approach. Be transparent, be direct, share your feelings honestly and respectfully. Remember your spouse isn't a mind reader, they can't know what you're thinking or feeling unless you tell them. So, as we wrap up today, take a moment to reflect. Do you expect your spouse to read your mind? And if so, how has this expectation impacted your marriage? Remember, communication is the key to understanding and intimacy. So, break the cycle. Stop playing the mind reading game. Start communicating clearly and honestly. Your marriage will thank you. Keep this in mind and watch the transformation unfold. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. Also, if you agree with this message and feel others should hear it, please share and like it.